Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 114 of Direwolf20's Enigmatic and 2 Expert Mode series, where today I'm working on, I think, well, there's a few things we need to do, right? Um, I, 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 I should be getting into Draconic Evolution. Well, I already got into Draconic Evolution. I pretty much got everything where I need to go, um, though I wouldn't mind getting that stuff. Right, but uh, I think today I'm going to take a break. Well, not really a break because I already took a break from Draconic Evolution. I'm going to take another break from Draconic Evolution, <laughs> and um, instead of working on making these fancy armors, which I'm just curious, like what do the Dra Draconic helms look like? Like what's the shenanigans that is making that? Oh my, that's a little bit. That's a lot of stuff. I do want one because you know Draconic armor is like it's the best. Right, like, with that energy shielding stuff you get, it's the... Wow. Whoa. I may not be getting this. Because I feel like... I might. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe. Perhaps? Perhaps? I wonder how much of this we can get from mob drops. I feel like it might be doable. It might be doable. Alpha Yeti fur, huh? Because we're basically going to need... I know a majority of this is not going to be from mob drops. I don't remember seeing the, the Yeti and the Arctic armor and stuff. And I think this stuff you only get from Twilight Forest questing. So we might have to go through the entire Twilight Forest quest line in order to get Draconic Tear armor. We'll see. We'll see. But uh, I decided to do something else instead. And you might have some guesses based on what I have queued up in my JEI bookmarks thing. Uh, and some of the machines that I've already started making in advance of this episode. Uh, what I'd like to do is get ready for the Tier 4 crafting table uh, from Extended Crafting, the ultimate crafting table, which will unlock the final chapter of this mod pack, which is the Shenanigans chapter. I don't think that's actually what it's called, but I'm going to call it that. Uh, so the Shenanigans chapter, otherwise known as Bragging Rights, uh, we need the ultimate crafting table in order to unlock it, and it's going to give me a bunch of experience when I do that. Um, and then once we get into bragging rights, that's when we can start making some of the creative tier resources. Um, and we're going to have access to basically like the, the crazy things, right? So like maybe infinity, we'll see. I don't know, right? So like infinity items, right? I'm assuming that these guys are even harder to make than Draconic. Yeah, so you need, you need the Draconic Helm. That was my guess, right? But this is where you get into, um, the Avaricia stuff with the ultimate infinity ingots and the Neutronium ingots and all that cool stuff. We'll see. We'll see how that goes um, cause you know that this is gonna be, like, a lot of things, right? So there's all this stuff, there's the ultimate singularities, which need, like, you know, all the different materials in, like, 10,000 item quantities, right? So basically all these singularities that we need, we need 10,000 of each ingot to make one singularity, right? So we're gonna see how that maps out, um... Like, maybe I'll have a designated building for Avaricia and all, like, the crazy crafting we're going to have to do to get to that point. Because we're, we're clearly going to need a lot more than we currently have, right? Like, hard carbon, that's... We're going to need 10,000 of these dudes, right? So it's going to be a lot. So we're going to we're gonna look into what's involved, right? I don't think I've ever done Avaricia in a pack that doesn't have EMC. So, like, no Project E in this pack. But let's get there... And then see how much fun we're having once we get to that point and decide if we're going to do the bragging rights quests. So I haven't entirely decided what I'm going to do, if I'm being totally honest. So for now, let's get into just making that crafting table. So looking at that crafting table, uh, I discovered that a lot of what we need, we probably already have. Like Signalum cell frames and block of black iron and Mderium and resonant cell frames and the previous tier of crafting tables. An extreme crafting table doesn't look too bad to make either. So a lot of this stuff doesn't look terrible. Um, totally, totally doable. Um, the only one that we don't have access to yet, okay, the only one that we don't have access to just yet is this thing, Draconium Crystals. So the crystals are the, the last tier, the ore quintupling process of mechanism. And, and making that last bit, uh, making it so you can quintuple ore instead of quadruple it is a lot of steps. Right, so what we need is to have clean draconium slurry, which we get by mixing water with draconium slurry, which we get by mixing uh, sulfuric acid with a ender draconium ore, which we get by making 
sulfur trioxide and water vapor. Water vapor is just decondensated water, so that's easy. Sulfur trioxide is a combination of oxygen, which we've made before, and sulfur dioxide, which is a melted down version of sulfur dust, which uh, from, from the last time I checked, we, we probably have a decent amount of sulfur. Don't we have sulfur? We can craft it, right? We just need some buckets and then we should be cool. So yeah, we should be good. Right? So let's do the thing, right? We're gonna do a mechanism, fluid questing, crafting, uh, nonsense stuff, right? So I guess first things first, right? So like sulfur dust uh, gives us sulfur dioxide and a chemical oxidizer. So like, let's go down the line and figure out everything that's gonna go over here. So how are we for channels down here? Cause we might need to export bus some stuff. So you've got six of eight available here. Uh, you've got five of eight available here. So we should be able to tap in um, to our existing channel stuff and maybe, you know, pipe something along the lines of a uh, of sulfur, right? So let's do an export bus of sulfur. That sounds like a good idea, right? With a no crafting card. Give me one of those. That should be cool. So crafting card, export bus, and sulfur. And we'll make sure that this is cool, okay? So you're basically... I don't know like where you need to face exactly, but I guess we'll figure that out. Cool. So you're gonna get that and that. And will you behave? Or do you need to be piped in somewhere else? I don't know, we'll figure it out. The sidedness of these machines is sometimes very easy to manage and sometimes not as easy to manage. Hey, there we go, something's happening. Was that the import side right there? I think it is, that's working. That's working. Okay, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. All right, uh, and let's not forget flux points down here. Hey, buddy, get that. There's like one pixel that I could click on right there. <laughs> All right, so you're cool, right? And I've got a bunch of speed upgrades for when we need it. All right, so that's sulfur dioxide. Okay, so next up, we wanna turn sulfur dioxide into sulfur trioxide in a chemical infuser. So that's gonna go right there. Does that sound fair? Oh good, we're getting sulfur dioxide. That's cool. Um, what are the chances that the front is where the gas is? I can put the oxygen? Probably none, probably not. It's probably gonna have to spit out the front would be my guess. Um, but let's get those conduits that we're gonna need. So gas conduits, so I'm pretty sure this is a line of oxygen right here, which is part of the reason I decided to, to set this up the way I did. So are you gonna be able to insert oxygen? I'm gonna do my best to keep this, you know, relatively clean looking. No, I didn't think so. It was a hope. Uh, it was a foolish hope, but it was a hope nonetheless. You're gonna need to move, buddy. You're gonna wind up being over here. Cool. And then this guy, conduits. So unfortunately, I think this has to be I'm really bad at figuring out where new things need to go, but I assume that you're gonna have to be on the right side of this thing, right? Like you just have to be. And that might be some kind of output. So for dioxide, oh, that's hydrogen chloride? Oh, my bad. My bad. I thought that was oxygen. I didn't realize that was the input because this is oxygen. It's the same color or close to it. Can't you void? Can't I void you somehow? Isn't there a voider for that thing? Chemical infuser. Isn't there a way to void that? I feel like there should be. I feel like there really should be. Uh, what I could do is make a gas tank. Probably. Ugh. Hang on one sec. When in doubt, just make another chemical infuser. How's that look? 
Cool. All right, so now more sulfur dioxide coming in. So that's the wrong stuff, right? That's hydrogen chloride that's coming out of there. What we need is this line of oxygen. So let's get you ready to roll. So you basically want to come over to here. Nope. Don't connect those guys. Boy, oh boy, this is going to be really dire wiry. Because we want to make sure that they don't connect. I do like the rendering on these pipes, though. They look cool. There's oxygen. Cool. Now, just to be clear, you're not going to be super nice and allow me to put oxygen in here, right? Nope. So you're going to have to go in there. So there's oxygen plus sulfur dioxide equals sulfur trioxide. Neat. Okay, cool. Now, um, where do you spit that out at? Does that go out here? Where does that go back here? One of you guys is going to have to do something with sulfur trioxide. I'm assuming that's a gas. Yep, it's the front. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. All right, so now sulfur trioxide combines with water vapor in a chemical infuser. So we need another chemical infuser, right? Um, so I'd love for that thing to sit right here, but that's gonna not work because of things and stuff, right? That's just not gonna happen because it needs two sides to it, right? So you're gonna have to sit like here, probably, would be the next chemical infuser. So I'll make another chemical infuser real quick off camera, because these things are annoying to make. All right, not so bad. So then you're good to go. Oops, wrong place. You know what, you can go away too. Chemical infuser, you're gonna have to go here, right? And what we're gonna need um, is basically this thing. So, this is gonna get really ugly dire wire in a minute. Like, really ugly. Give me more of these, buddy, because we're gonna need them. All right. Uh, I'm gonna put you there for a minute, just so I can emulate you. Now, do you have gas in you at this point because I did that? No, you don't. Well, that's interesting, at least. So that if I ran this like so, but I didn't disconnect you, I disconnect, whoa boy, hang on, that's not what I want. What is going on here? Hold on, nobody panic. Do that. You get sulfur trioxide. Good. That's what I want. Can you please insert it all? That would be super nice of you. I want to empty this sulfur trioxide container thing. And you guys should be making plenty of oxygen. So like, why are you troublemakering it? Yeah, you have plenty of oxygen here. So what's going on? Are you still, why are you having such a trouble filling this up and emptying your existing tank? That's weird. I guess gas is funny. <laughs> um, were you running a bit? Yes. Okay. Maybe I should turn off that uh, that tier six void ore miner real quick. Doot, doot, doot. You've been running for long enough. We have enough draconium for now. Cool, buddy. Thanks for all you've done for the dire cause. All right, all I need to do is clear out that gas line. I'm trying to avoid breaking the whole thing, but I might be doing that really fast. 
Because we, like, very quickly got to the point where... Can you please accept all the sulfur trioxide? <laughs> Why is it taking so long to fill? Like, look how much of it is there, though. Like, it's really kind of gone all over, hasn't it? Come on, buddy. Empty out already. You're doing a bad job of not being full of nonsense gas that I don't want at this point. I feel like... What's happening is it's taking a really long time to drain that. All right, I guess we'll come back in a minute when it's done doing its thing. All right, guys, the dire wire is real, but it's working. So I'll take it. All right, so you combine with what? Water vapor? Is that right? To make sulfuric acid? So sulfur trioxide plus water vapor. So what we should have is a rotary doohickey here, which I don't think we already have one of, do we? Oh, we do have a rotary condensator. Look at me going. Yay! All right, so you should be decondensating, right? Because water vapor comes from decondensating water. So where can I sneak water into this bad boy? Uh, sink. It's time for a sink with a water bucket. This process is a little bit complicated just because of the sidedness of the machines, right? That's what makes it a little bit extra tricky. But then you should be on extract and you should be good at that and you should be getting water vapor and you should be making sulfuric acid. Woot! All right. Now we're making progress. All right. Now the sulfuric acid does what? Chemical dissolution chamber? Yes. So you need to spit out into the chemical dissolution chamber. Which I think this needs a bucket of sulfuric acid to work. So that's why you are going in here. Um, let's get those speed upgrades. What do you think? And energy upgrades. How's that sound? Oh, well, that's going to very quickly get me what I need. Nice. Oop. Sulfuric acid it is. Now can you give me a bucket? No, of course not. Why would you? Give me a bucket of sulfuric acid. Give it to me now. Why is this plus sign here if I can't have a bucket? Uh, how about a tank? Actually, sulfuric acid. So there's the sulfuric acid that this sulfuric acid needs to be condensated from this sulfuric acid. So I think this is the gaseous form. Yes. Yes. Okay, that explains it. All right, so then we need another rotary condensator, which just needs one of these, and then we should hopefully be cool. The sidedness of this is a little tricky, but you're going to condensate sulfuric acid. There you go. Cool. So much tire wire. This is this is going to be an ugly build. I can already tell it's going to be really bad. All right, but it's all good. It's all in the name of science. How about you all get the speed and power upgrades that you need? just to make stuff start working a little bit better. Okay, so you're gonna do your thing now a little bit more efficiently. So lots and lots of sulfur going on. You might need a couple acceleration cores. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Cause you're crafting these on demand too. Let's not forget. How do you make these? How, how much of this sulfur do we get in this? It's eight sulfur per craft. So that ain't bad. That should be maintainable. Eventually, we're going to backstop this whole system, right? Like, that's what we're going to expect to see. So once this is full, then this is going to start filling up. Once this is full, this is going to start filling up, and then that's going to start filling up, and then that's going to start filling up. So we've got a ways to go still, but there you go. So now, the sulfuric acid, I should be able to get a bucket's worth, right? You would think. Give me a bucket. Give me a bucket of that. All right, how about a tank? 
give me a basic fluid tank. Can you do it like this? Yeah, you can. Good job, you. Really, bro? That's how you want to play it? How do I get a... I, I can only get this via a fluid transposer? Are you serious about that? Am I going to need this ever again, or is this like a one-time deal? I guess that's a big question that I don't have an answer to. Come here, you. You just need power of some sort. doesn't really matter where this goes. But I think I can do something like that. Cool. And then you should be able to do that. Sulfuric acid bucket. So only nuclear craft sulfuric acid can be a sulfuric acid bucket? Is this the one that I need to craft this guy? It's the nuclear craft one. So that's interesting. So I can use a fluid dictionary converter to convert the mechanica to sulfur. That's an option, I guess. Fluid dictionary converter. So we're gonna need another piece of plastic, a case lib, and an iron gear. Oh, that's in bar. I was close though. It looks like iron, doesn't it? Have I never made iron gears before? Oh, we're missing coal. Look at that. <laughs> that's what happens when you have an auto exporter of coal making mana for you. Building gadget to the rescue. I think you might already have coal because that was like the most recent one that I had to do. I should really like set up something to auto process these things. Coal for days. All right, cool. Uh, what was I making again? Totally forgot. All right, the machine case lib thing. Make one of those. Make some more plastic for me. Uh, and then we need to teach you how to make iron gears. Do we have an empty gear crafting slot? That's the real question. Yeah, we do. Wait, do we? I guess we do. Okay. Iron gear. Yep, that's correct. Literally never made iron gears before. All right, fluid dictionary converter. Should be cool. Do you need power? And can I have my fluid back? Thanks, buddy. Let's do this. You don't do nothing. You go here. Do you need power? I don't know. Well, that's cool. That's going to be a lot of fluids, though. That's going to be really hard to find our way through. Sulfuric acid from nuclear craft is what we want our target to be. Why does this seem like trickier than it should be? Fluid dictionary converter. That's the right thing I've got going on here. Can't you just recognize what I have? Hydrogen, hydrogen. What? This is a weird UI, guys. Let me futz with this a little bit, because clearly I don't know what I'm doing. 
So maybe there's a bit of a saving grace here. I think I actually had sulfuric acid over here. All right. So no more mutts, mutsin and futsin with that nonsense. Because that I could not get to work no matter what I did. So you guys go away, as do you. And this is my... Because I'm pretty sure we need mechanism sulfur stuff. But you're going to chill here for a minute just because you're a thing, right? Uh, so now you need some of these. That means you need more of these. Which means you need more of these. Right? And let's hang on to you to be ready. So I need four and two ultimate gas tanks. So I've got a couple ultimate gas tanks with stuff in them, but I don't think I have any empty ones. And crafting those ultimate gas tanks is kind of a hassle. So ultimate gas tanks. Let's just get the two of you that we need, and hopefully, hopefully you can... I still have some stuff. I craft... Okay, I don't have any more alloys. How are we for alloys? Wow, it's amazing how fast you burn through alloys in this mod. I made like 50 of these before, and for whatever reason, I'm only making like 50 at a time. Or 30 at a time in this instance. Come on, buddy. Be done. There you go. I should just make 100 at a time, to be fair. Easy peasy once you have the pattern down, though. Okay. So now you should be good to go. Nice. Okay. Chemical dissolution chamber. So let's see, where can I place you in such a way that you're going to get your fluid? Because you don't seem like you want to get fluid. So what if I put you here? Now that's clearly... Which sulfuric acid do I need in here? I think it's actually this one. Let's see if I'm right about that. Chemical dissolution chamber. If I do that, yes, that's the few sulfuric acid I need. So now we need some of this stuff. And that should make the things that we need. Nice. I don't know how much we're going to be using this in the future, to be fair. Right? Um, so now you need to be washed with water. Right? So that's going to be in a chemical washer. Makes me clean draconium slurry. So chemical washer... Looked like a pretty complicated recipe. I've got one of the things I need. So we're going to need more control circuits times four. And let's see what else we need to do to get a chemical washer. We need reactor ports. So that means one more control circuit. At this point, I might just make ten. Because why not? And I feel like I should just make a hundred of each of these alloys. And I craft them back to front because if I crafted them front to back, then it would, you know, do stuff. How long have I been saying I should have more uh, crafting CPUs? Probably a while now. <laughs> Probably for a while now, but that's okay, Direwolf. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do better. We'll see. All right. So with you now, we need the washer. So that should be one of you, which needs a reactor frame, which needs that, which needs that. So we're making progress here. We now need another ultimate gas tank, which again is a little bit of an annoying craft, but not terrible. Cool. And then we need an ore washing plant. Okay, so that's going to need a basic casing and two motors. I'm pretty sure I taught motors from Industrial Craft. And then the basic machine casing. Sneak it in there real quick. Come on, crafting CPUs. There you go. All right, cool. So getting there, ore washing plant, ore washing plant, ore washing plant. Nice. So that should be everything we need to make you. Okay. Now I'm not sure what your sidedness looks like, but it doesn't look great. <laughs> it doesn't look great. I feel like it's the two sides and then it's going to spit out the top. 
Doesn't that feel uh, how it feel, feels? It feels like that to me. So that's a gas, maybe? Hey, look. Draconium slurry. Nice. Um, and then water, I presume? Does the water maybe go on the top? Yep. Man, look at this awful system that is in no way organized or clean. Clean draconium slurry, though, so that's a thing. So that spits out here, and then that goes into the chemical crystallizer, which is the next part of this, right? Uh, crystallizer. Chemical crystallizer, that's this guy, right? So we've got that set, right? So now we need a Lapatron crystal, which I believe we can craft. And I think we've got everything else covered here. So the chemical crystallizer is the last bit. Okay, so you, you, you. So we need two more ultimate gas tanks. Always with the ultimate gas tanks. I feel like at this point I probably should have had them on autocraft. But I know they can be tricky to get auto crafting properly. Because like they kind of recognize each other as almost being or dictionary with each other. Okay, so the last thing we need here is a crystallizer from this mod. So we're gonna need the green control circuit and a user interface. Good thing we auto crafted all this stuff, right? And then we also need a steel plate. And then we also need a structure, machine structure, which I remember being a relatively expensive craft, but that was a long time ago. So maybe it's not so bad no more. So you're making my energy crystal as we speak, hopefully working. I'm just assuming that all my auto craftings are working at this point. So yeah, your sulfur craft is, is definitely coming up my auto crafting works. But you're making clean, clean draconium slurry, so that's pretty good. That's pretty good. How's the structure lib thing coming along? Making progress. How's my compressor coming along? Because I assume that's who's making my energy crystal. That should work, shouldn't it? Can't you accept from the back? Are you behaving or no? I feel like you're being funny. Are you going somewhere you don't belong? I don't think so. But you're like not inserting into there. But there's no other blocks nearby, right? Yeah, there's no other blocks for you to insert into. So where would you be inserting if not there? Give me nine of these things. I don't know what you're doing or what games you're playing. I'll have to troubleshoot this at some point. Okay, now can I have a Lapatron crystal, please? Look at you, just being a nuisance. Oh, you know what it is? Is it's not recognizing the energy crystal properly. That's the problem. It's... Is something charging it? I don't know. I don't know and I'm a little confused, but it's all good because now we're getting close, right? So you should be done. You should be close to done. You just need the sun crystal, which is this sitting in the sun, right? We just place this in the sun. Like just anywhere, throw it on the ground and let it collect sunlight. 
believe that's how it works. And maybe take your magnet off for a minute. I think he just collects sunlight for a little bit. So yeah, see that, see that shimmer and shine thing going on right there? It's doing a thing. It's collecting sunlight, um, and at some point it'll be complete. I'm not sure exactly when, but that's the gist. It's cool looking though, isn't it? It's really neat. I like that. Are you done then? Okay. All right, so does that mean we're cool? The answer is yes. Chemical crystallizer, sweet. All right, so rotary condensator can go away. Chemical crystallizer is gonna come over here. And you're, I think, hopefully, hey, you're getting clean draconium slurry. Guess what that means? You don't accept any more of these, right? Oh, you do. Okay, cool. Nice. And that, my friends, is what we need, boom, officially enough to get what we need to get. I'll call that good, right? And I'm gonna say you're done, all right? So let's take you out, which is gonna slowly drain all this, and then we'll let this thing go back to backlogging. I don't know if we're ever gonna need this again, but it's here so that we can make crystals in the future if we ever need them for any of our crafts. because. If you made me do it once, maybe there's other crafts in the future that will make me use some of these Jopa crystals, right? Because clearly I need it for this. So we have what we need. We have enough. We needed eight. We're going to have a few extra. But that's fine, right? I'm not worried about that. So you're cool. So you're going to backstuff your sulfuric acid. You're going to drain your draconium slurry completely. So that means you're going to start building up sulfuric acid and you're going to start building up sulfuric acid. Sweet. Okay. Cool. I like it. I like it. We got what we accomplished today, guys. All right. So next episode, Elite Crafting Table. I almost want to hide this entire mess behind a wall because it's it's frankly embarrassing how sloppy it is. <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> I, to be fair, I've never done the whole mechanism tier five crafting thing. So there's probably a more efficient way to do it. And had I understand the sidedness of the machines, it probably could have been a little bit cleaner. Like, frankly, this thing should have been facing the opposite direction, and we should have had sulfur going in. But because I can't void these tanks, I would have to make another chemical infuser to make this work. And it was just a meh. So, for now, though, 20 sending off. We'll come back next time. Maybe make a tier 4 uh, table doohickey thing, which would be cool. And then um, we'll probably get into some draconium. I'm going to look into... Should we do... Let me know what you think. Twilight Forest, maybe? I think we'll want to do that, because I would love to have the draconic armor. Especially for some upcoming stuff. Because clearly we're going to have to fight the Gaia Guardian and a handful of other bosses. So having that Draconic Armor is kind of going to be necessary. So I feel like Twilight Forest might be in our future. For now guys, take it easy.